think there's only one way to really inf implement infinite banking, but there are three types or three main strategies that get pitched when you're talking to the agent and they might use the words infinite banking. So IBC options, you've got a whole life insurance product, an index universal life insurance product, or a premium financing option using a whole life product or an index universal life insurance product. These are your three most popular options. And there are sub options within the whole life product within the IUL and within premium financing. But these are the three main ones that you should be aware of. So those are your options, okay? In a minute or two, I'm gonna share my screen and kind of open up the options, the marketing terms, terminology. You can take a screenshot, you can save it. I might even create like a little PDF that you can download and keep. This way when you're talking to an agent, you kind of have the terms pulled up. And if they use a certain term, you say, oh, okay, he means that or she means that. And that'll really help you when you're talking to uh, any insurance agent for that matter, whether they are experienced, inexperienced, or have no knowledge of infinite banking. So those are the three most popular IBC options. Next is the, we're gonna, I'm gonna come over here to this component is policy design and your split options in regards to the type of product that you end up going with. You're either, when you're in this infinite banking space, you're either going to end up with a whole life product, some kind of an index universal life insurance product, or you're probably gonna go premium financing, which is also a whole life product or an index universal life. And in a nutshell, premium financing means that you are self-funding a policy. In addition, a bank is also paying your premium for a period of time, okay? I'm not gonna dive too into it, you can do your research, but that is very different, in my opinion, from the infinite banking process, the infinite banking concept, very, very different. The industry leaders, Nelson Nash, Gary Gunderson, uh, Matthew Pillmore, the Kwok brothers, um, uh, Caleb, who I mentioned earlier, you got Kim Butler, you've got, you got all these, I mean, long, uh, uh, Bruce Wenner, you've got James Nethery, uh, you got Carmen and Darius over at Wealth Nation. I mean, so there's really not a whole lot of people. That's why I'm like able to name these people off the top of my head. There's not a whole lot, by the way. Again, I'm going to show you the list in a minute. Most of them would agree that if we're just talking infinite banking concept, that means to take control over the banking process in your economy where you can scale it to infinity. You create an infinite banking system, machine, process that keeps going you create a velocity of money, you're reusing dollars over and over again, you're recapturing costs. The most efficient way to do that, opinion base right here, and also based off the industry leaders, and what they've said, their experience, best way to do that is with a whole life insurance product. The minute you step into premium financing, IUL, it's no longer infinite banking, it's a different strategy, which is nothing wrong with that. It's just, it's important on how we use our language so that you, the viewer, doesn't get confused. So you, you know, you don't think that they're one in the same. They're not. Infinite banking, it's its own thing. IUL, it's its own thing. Premium financing, it's its own thing. The reason why someone would go with an IUL or a premium financing is for the opportunity to create more income, more net worth. So we're not necessarily practicing any banking options a premium financing product your money is locked up you really can't borrow from it for the first five years maybe longer than that that eliminates the banking process with an iul it really doesn't make sense to borrow from the iul in the beginning years of a policy if they're claiming that i can earn 15 percent 11 percent 25 percent 35 percent 50 percent why would i ever borrow money why would i take money from that if I can just keep the money all in there, working effectively in my favor, pay no interest, just keep feeding the beast. It's like an alternative investment type of a strategy mixed with some guarantees because there are some non-guarantees and there's some added risk to it. 
and that's full transparency. Even the index universal life insurance agents will admit there's added risk, added cost. There's, there's no getting around that. They totally agree with it. I just think it's no longer IBC, call it something else, right? Give it a different name for it. Alternative to your 401k, alternative to your qualified retirement accounts, Alter like don't call it infinite banking because it's not, that's affecting what the actual concept and process is.